when she first saw, because because we were filming it during the week, yeah. and I took it home on the Monday night, and she looked at it and said, "Are you really going to do that? Is Katya really going to do that?" But yeah. actually, she laughed, and it was funny. So, what about this Strictly curse? Because obviously, Katya's uh, you know being talked about at the moment. Just briefly, what's your view on it? Well, there is definitely a Strictly curse. Look, I think Katya and Sean had a very tough time the last few weeks. Katya made a big mistake. Uh, Neil and Katya are good friends of ours, but all they can do is come back and keep dancing. How do you cope with him? Because he gets very emotional. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I, I, I've got no, a oh, He is very emotional. <laughs> um, and, and that's a, a side that a lot of people don't see, especially on Mondays and Tuesdays. Why Mondays and Tuesdays? Because they're the hottest <laughs> days of the week. <laughs> that's where he has to learn everything and everything. It's just, you know, again, it was really hard for us to pick ourselves up from, you know, being the bottom two, two weeks running. So, um, and it's one of these things that I guess it's, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely thing, not being in the bottom two, but the fact that you have to pick yourself up and you have to just think positive. Yeah. And, um, and as it, you know, it's a, it's a really good thing for, for people who are having a bad day or, or kids who are having a bad day in school or anything like that, that you always have to look at the brighter side of things. And, you know, the fact that we went out there and we just enjoyed yeah. ourselves. Because to be in the bottom two, it's oh. like... Valley people think, oh, well, it's not for the likes of me. <laughs> of course it's for the likes of you. I mean, yeah. most, most wee girls and, and a lot of wee boys go to ballet classes yeah. and it doesn't, I mean, I did. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're not very good, you just have a well, good time. the thing is now, I mean, I do a dance fitness and we use every dance style from around the world just to keep the variety. And, and the book is about variety yeah. as well, um, to make sure that there is something there for everybody in mm. dance, that it doesn't have to be classical ballet and it doesn't have to be, you know, the, the more extreme dance styles, that it can be those lovely, relaxed styles of something like uh, street or hip hop. Mm. You know, you can have fun with that. You can have fun with salsa. You can have fun with flamenco. You can, I mean, it, it's endless. You wear, and you I, won the tour. I, yeah, I felt, felt like I grew as a person in do, doing that. I think it was all the endorphins running around my body yeah. at the time as well. Um, and I was going through mental health issues at the time and it sort of helped bring it out, out of myself so to help me talk about it a lot more. Um, so, yeah, it, it changed. I think it has ch helped change my life a lot. People say it's the best experience ever, ever. being on a show yeah, like Strictly. Is. And you, I mean, you obviously had some, a little bit of danceability because you're in a band, but it's yeah. very, very different from doing a tango. Most, most definitely. It's, I mean, for holding someone in hold, you know, ballroom yeah. hold, it's just something alien to me, especially but you would to my been, body. You would have been so good at dancing at your wedding. Um, yeah, we slow danced, sort of Aww. like you did, that, you know, at your first school prom. <laughs> yeah, that, I it remember. was one of those We used side to call to it sides. a mini. <laughs> yeah, you did a mini it. at the yeah. end of the evening. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you just kind of, yeah, I'd remember. It's hilarious. Yeah. Look, you'll get a different dancing partner, though, at Christmas time. Christopher Biggins. Biggins oh Should you do an Aladdin? Yes, we oh, are, yeah. And um, this is the second time I'm working with Mr Biggins. He's great, um, isn't he? He's an amazing. He was a wonderful teacher. We're doing a minute and a half. These guys do about ten minutes of dancing a week, you know. I don't I know mean, how you do it. <laughs> We learn a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are uh, learning three and four numbers. But it's it's quite it's a pressure though. That minute and a half, you know, that's uh, that's a big yes. pressure to, to Be, get right. It's it's that that's pressure if you're doing it in your bathroom. <laughs> Never mind in front of eleven million people. Do you just not think about that when you you're can't. dancing? But there's five hundred people you, in the room as well, going. Yeah, I get from you that you are so focused on what the both of you are doing right now that all the noise that happens with Strictly, you know, the noise about bullying with Danny and people kissing one another, they shouldn't, blah, blah, blah. You d doesn't register. Is that, would that be fair? Do you just, do you just yeah. get on with I, it? I don't register it because if I did focus on this and this, it would distract from the situation that's at hand. Right. I've got an opportunity and Lauren's got... I asked Lauren, why do you want to do the show? And she goes, I just want to inspire young children to wake up yep. in the morning and really think that, wow, I'm happy to be here. And the nicest thing, Lauren said something the other day. Usually people come up to her and go, oh, congratulations as a Paralympian and start looking at her arm. Yes. And now we're in Portsmouth and we're walking around in her hometown and they walk up to her and go, congratulations for Strictly, give her a hug. There's never ever an awareness oh, of her brilliant. arm. And I obviously, we, we would never <laughs> think about this, but... For her to actually say that is, is so lovely. Yeah, that's that amazing. people are seeing her for Lauren Stedman, not I've got one arm. Who and happens I'm to have a disability? Exactly. I get you. Yeah, that makes sense. So for her, sense. it was the nicest thing ever oh, for her to great. say that. Great, but and exercise. just that, and I had you in my head because it's like those endorphins. It would honestly it's true. because it's just you, you get these endorphins. We have fun. It is hard work, but you know what's not to love about no, it? It's true. such a privilege, and uh, and I'm loving that everybody at home is loving it. No, too. definitely, absolutely, and you are tiny. <laughs> 
Because yeah. you're working this woman far, far too hard. There's nothing over. It's not actually me. <laughs> it's not actually me. It's the is the diet. I think we don't even we don't I'm we rehearse about twenty eat. minutes a day. Twenty minutes a day we rehearse. Yeah, yeah we get <laughs> like I, I have to ask. Can I have a minute's break now? Yeah, and God. it sounds really, really. I sound really horrible, but we do have fun. <laughs> I think we have yeah, fun. We, have we fun. do rehearse a lot, though. Well, I, I I have to say, and Kate has to. What what I find the most impressive about my series this year is. Kate has two very, very young children. Yes. And I know she has to do the school run before she sees me. And then I keep her in that rehearsal room for eight, nine, nine hours to try and get the dance ready. And then she goes home and it's, a, it's an amazing mom. And then on the weekend, she's an incredible performer. So you're a super, super, oh, super you woman. Very, very much so. Now look, obviously, but you being a Paralympian yeah. and all, and you're, you're not wearing a prosthetic or anything like that, because that doesn't work for you. I just think it would get in the way. We've managed to do all of our routines without... The thing is, you've, you've never used one, have so you? So why would weird. you? Then it would yeah. look kind of weird. Yeah, and, only yeah, on a bike, so... And it would be a wee bit clumsy. So does it mean different challenges for you, in a way? I think for me, when it comes down to the choreography side, obviously, I would go to grab the hand normally and, and it's not there. For sure. So when we're doing lifts and stuff, we do have to think differently about how we would maybe oh. somehow get you on top of my shoulders like we are this week yeah. and throwing you around. We've got some interesting things coming, but... The thing is, you just approach everything so positive. So yeah. Lauren just goes in with a clear mind. There's no right, there's no wrong. You're just like, yeah, we'll do it. What that's... if they said to you, we need you? Would you come back or do you think that's part of your past now? Uh, it's definitely part of my past. It's, I've had you've the it. most amazing year. You it, have? It, it, came at, it came at exactly the right time. Right. I'd go back as a, in a different role, you know. If, You'd be a great judge. I, I would love that as a, you as a role. You really would but... be a good judge because you. you know it inside out, Brendan. Oh, you've I been do. there. I mean, I that, I'll think that makes a massive difference. Yeah, but actually, you, that's, you know, people have. It's been saying quite a lot, you know, oh, they, they need to have you back. It's like, mm. Actually, if they asked, I, I wouldn't go back. I've had an incredible year with so many so many opportunities that I would never have had uh, if I'd still been on the show. I've just spent That's two true. weeks filming in Italy, doing the most incredible show coming out in the spring, oh, so brilliant. look forward to that one. Um, and just the opportunities that, because Strictly takes over your whole life four or five months of the year. Yep. I mean, you literally, you have no time at all. Uh, mm. The things I've been able to do, uh, you know, it's so many opportunities and it's been an incredible year. I'm, you look I'm really stuck. well and you look really happy. I don't know how, I've just been looking after my two children you by have. myself all weekend. You, you know, the audience will let you know who they want to see. There's always going to be a few of us who've got some sort of experience. Of always. Of um, and I've never said that I haven't and, and I'm just so chuffed to do it. It's amazing. <laughs> and it's a little bit different, isn't it? It's like she does hand choreography when she was doing uh, uh, with steps. I always call hand choreography. Hand choreography. Yeah, yeah, because it's all about that, this, yeah. isn't it? There but was. when you dance, it's completely different. You have to move your feet on time with technique and everything. A lot of to remember, isn't it? Um, mm. It's just nothing like you've ever done before in your life. Yeah, we're doing uh, Danny and Sandy. Oh, brilliant. You're the one that I want. And it's so fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. First of all, day one on Monday, I was giggling my head off, wasn't I? I was like, this is really funny. Day two, I was like, no, it's not no, funny. It's, not <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's just <laughs> hard. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because it's a very, very intense and passionate sometimes relationship. Yeah. I mean, we've seen that. We've seen that in the past yeah. where there has yeah. been the so-called Strictly curse. Yeah. But, it, but I don't think you can underestimate that relationship. Um, I think... There is so much passion and sensuality and storytelling through dance. Yeah. It's such an intense relationship. There's a goal. Every Saturday night, there's a target they have to hit to stay in the competition. The pros want to stay in. Yeah. The celebrities want to stay in. So you get closer and closer. You're thrown together. And many people in a very strong relationship, it doesn't matter how close they get or how physical they are, they have they go back home sure and and of course we all love neil and katya there's a togetherness but you i remember you said look if your relationship is rock solid fine but if you if your relationship's on wobbly ground maybe not a great idea to go to strictly. absolutely <laughs> because you're ready you are you know, putty in the hands of, of whoever is teaching yeah. you. Right, yeah. Yeah. Of course, you're in this kind of world, you know, of, 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 it's not like, it's kind of cyberspace world, yeah. of course it is. Yeah. But you still wanted to do TV. Yeah. But for your grandparents. Yeah, really? so like, well, um, my grandparents, they, they understand what I do online and stuff. My granddad's right. actually got Instagram himself. Well and he's got like 120,000 followers, believe it or not. Go on, granddad. And the first picture he took was of his knee as well, because he didn't quite know how to work, work it. But, uh, my granddad but you're the it. best person to tell him. Yeah, exactly. And they, and, but then Strictly is something that they, you know, they've watched since it began.